How do you get excellent at sales? Well, sales is the backbone of every single business. In fact, it's the backbone of the entire economy. No sales, no economy. So it's probably worth achieving excellence in. But how do you do that? Well, I'll break this topic down into two parts. The first part being the mindset part, which is this video, and the second part being the practical steps that you can take to achieve excellence in sales. So if you're a business owner or you work in sales, then this is probably pretty important to you and you wanna be subscribed with the bell notification on so you can catch that video when it drops and future videos to come. So let's get into it. The first part of achieving excellence in sales is to become a finisher. Now, you've probably heard of the term closer when it comes to sales. So what's a finisher? Well, just as the name suggests, it's somebody who finishes what they start. And the world today is actually tra training us to become anti-finishers. I mean, we can't even watch a 15 second video without going next, 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 next. And what that does to your brain is just, just makes you like that in everything. The way you do one thing is the way that you do everything. So I've observed that if you see somebody whose you know, house is a mess, they're going to be like that in everywhere. Their car is going to be a mess. Their desktop is going to be a mess. Every area of their life is going to be messy. Their relationships are going to be a mess. And it's the same with finishing. Somebody who completes what they start in everything is just going to be like that across the board. And the opposite is also true. Somebody who can't finish anything is going to do that with everything. So you know those people that are five pages deep into 15 different books? You don't want to be one of those people. And the way that you do that is you go step by step, one thing at a time. So let's say if you're listening to music, finish the song before moving to the next song. If you start a video, watch the whole video before moving to the next one. Or else don't start. Because it's you who picked the video to watch, the song to listen to, the book to read, right? So why pick it if you're not going to finish it? And then take that habit with you in everything. Finish what you start. And the reason why you want to become a finisher before you become a closer, because once you apply the same principle to every area of life, not just in business, not just in sales, but it's just going to pay dividends forever. Because when you apply it to sales, your reputation will precede you, your integrity is going to be at the highest level, and it's just going to make your life a whole lot easier. People will trust and have certainty in doing business with you. Okay, so that's step one, becoming a finisher. The second part is to develop the habits that are going to make you literally bulletproof. And what do I mean by that? Now, these are going to vary from person to person, but I'll give you mine. So first one is boxing. I love boxing. And the reason why I love boxing so much is because it makes the rest of life so much easier. It makes everything so easy. Think about it like this. If I'm in a boardroom meeting or if I'm in a meeting with somebody, what's the worst that can happen? They're not going to punch me in the face. And I already, you know, expose myself to that. So what is the worst that can happen here? It just brings a level of ease to the rest of my life. The next part of that is the calmness part, the calmness habits I have. So for example, ice baths is one of them. I love ice baths. I always hate getting in. When I see the ice bath, I'm like, oh. But then once I've conquered it, once I've done four minutes, five minutes, I'm like, oh, that was a win. Because it is a win. And you want to be stacking those wins in every area of your life. And then meditation Meditation is amazing because it also brings a level of calmness to my life. And I see things coming towards me, problems or whatever, and life trying to kick me in the face. And I'm like, whoa, miss me with that. But also, you can add one more part to that. And this is probably one of the most important that I've added recently, which is affirmations and incantations. If you don't take anything else away from this video and you just start adding some affirmations and incantations to your day for five minutes, five minutes a day, Everyone has five minutes a day, right? I guarantee you that this whole video will be worth it. Watching this video will be worth it for you because that is a game changer. Now, I know everybody's not going to do it, but I'm telling you right now, it works wonders because you influence your subconscious and your superconscious mind to start believing whatever you start affirming. So that's the habits part. So now, so far, we've covered 
becoming a finisher, the habits. And the last thing is being able to go for at least 100 days. And why do I say 100 days? Well, I'll get into that part, but you have to understand that your first 100 days of making videos are not going to be good videos. Your first 100 sales calls, they're not going to be good sales calls. Your first 100 days in business are not going to be your greatest days in business. And you need to be okay with that because it's actually a really good thing. And the way that I'll reframe that for you right here is that I'd say that it's a barrier of entry to keep the weak people out. Because if you think about it like this, if you were to just pick up the phone and your first sales calls were just automatic successes, or your first 100 videos were all bangers, or your first 100 days in business were all just easy peasy, lemon squeezy, everybody would do it. Everybody would do it. So that means that it'd just be, you know, oversaturated and it wouldn't even be worth doing. So embrace the fact that it's going to be difficult. Now, it might not be necessarily 100 exact days. It might be like 136 days. It might be 250 days. It might be 1,000 days. But you need to be ready to put in the work without getting the reward as long as you're improving every single time. So that's something that I always do. I'm like, okay, I want to get good at this skill. Put in 100 days straight. Don't even look at the time. Don't even look at the uh, uh, results at this point because most people won't last that long so i just make a checklist of 100 days boom and every day i'm checking it off and every check off is a win for me i feel like that's a win check it off that's a win check off the next day that's a win check off the next day that's a win so i've changed the game in my head from it being like oh i need results right now no i need to get good at the skill right now and the way that i do that is practice over time so you need the level of resilience to get through that and just put in 100 days. That's it for this video. Hope you guys find it useful and I'll see you guys in the next one.